Hey everyone, it's Seth with Jensen USA, and today I'm going to take you through the lineup of Troy Lee Design helmets. All right, to kick things off, we have to start with the veteran, and that is the A1 helmet. This thing got launched in 2013, and honestly hasn't changed a whole lot since then, although it has had some updates to modernize it a little bit. But overall, the shape and look of this helmet is the same, and that is because this thing is timeless. I've been rocking this helmet personally for a bunch of years, and every time I think about getting rid of it, I'm like, nah, I think I might do it again. I just love the way this helmet feels, rides, uh, and kind of everything it does. It's not the fanciest helmet out there. There are some helmets that are bringing some hotter features even within the TLD line, including the stage here. But this thing is a heavy hitter, especially at the price point. So it's got a couple of things going on. It, first of all, it's this kind of race-inspired enduro uh, design to it. So that means a nice low back, uh, good ear coverage around here. So if you take an impact to the side or back, you're gonna walk away feeling all right and not having a bunch of damage to that portion of your head. It also has this Moto-inspired visor here, uh, and it does have actually an adjustment right in here. You can loosen that to bring it up and down uh, just a little bit. And then it has another set of uh, knobs here. In case you do break this off, you can uh, unscrew those pins and replace the visor, which is super awesome. Now, one of the things I love most about this helmet is just how comfortable it is. It fits my head like a glove. There are very few helmets that I put on and it feels as home as this thing does. And so that's been part of my love for this thing. Now they modernized that quite a bit uh, over the years and they added in a MIPS system here that you can see. And this truly does work. It you know, has the whole wiggle thing going on. And then lining that is actually this antimicrobial padding here that's removable. So you can throw it in your washing machine, clean it up, uh, and it, it has antimicrobial factors to help it stink a little bit less. It's also a fast drying material. So as you sweat, it's going to actually try to move that sweat out of your way and uh, get things dried up after your ride so you're ready to go later on. Uh, it does have this uh, dial fit system in the back as well and then has multiple adjustments on the chin straps itself so you can really get this thing dialed in. Now I'd love to see this thing get updated with a Fidlock uh, connection instead of the typical clamp, but for being such a veteran and longtime competitor in the helmet space, we think this thing has huge bang for the buck and is just such a rad helmet. So that's the TLD A1 helmet. After years of having this A1 helmet as being the king kind of of trail helmets, it was time for Troy Lee to bring out the next generation or the next iteration of trail helmets. And so that's where the A2 came in. Now this helmet is really cool. It's a very similar theme in that it's got the nice low back and great ear coverage on it uh, to provide a lot of protection but they wanted to bring a lot of what was already great in the A1 and just take it up a notch. And so Troy Lee introduced uh, an industry first uh, dual density type of foam in this shell. And so one of the things they did is they used an EPP for low speed impacts and an EPS foam for high speed impacts. So that just means that when you take a slow tumble and you bonk your head on that rock, you're still gonna be able to walk away comfortably from that. And then if you take something where you're going in, ripping down the trail and take a big hit, that EPS is gonna provide the protection that you need. Now on the protection game, there's a few other features that were in the A1 as well, including breakaway bolts for the visors. So as you crash, this isn't gonna pull on your head, it's gonna go ahead and break away. It is a replaceable piece. So super awesome to have. Again, on uh, the protection game, we have the MIPS liner in here, and this is an active system that helps that helmet to kind of roll and slide as you take your impacts. It also has the nice dial fit system in here to really hold your head into the helmet and keep that helmet in place as you're charging down the trail. 
Now, as you can see, if you look against these two here, there is quite a bit more ventilation going on in this helmet. Because one of the few complaints about the A1 was that it was pretty warm. And for a guy like me with a bald head, not so much of an issue, but if you've got a lot of hair going on, uh, that can actually impede quite a bit if you don't have this air moving through. So this actually has 25% more airflow going through this helmet itself. Uh, it does have uh, a couple other small improvements as well. In the straps here, it actually has these little uh, pieces that actually expand and expose the straps across, uh, around your ear, if you will. And so it just kind of lets you dial everything in, get it really specific, and keep it really comfortable while you're out on the trail. Now, similar to the A1, they have this removable washable liner, but this has this ecstatic material that kind of just takes it to the next level. Again, antimicrobial, machine washable, and really quick drying. So overall, a great trail helmet. I will say as a note that this one fits me just slightly different than the A1 does. So it's a good idea to uh, you know, test out what might be your favorite helmet here. This one I find is just a little bit more of a round profile versus a little bit of an elongated profile on this one. But an overall awesome helmet. So check out the A2 helmet. Next up is going to be our enduro focused helmet from TLD. And while you can ride enduro in a helmet like these half shells here, as you get charging harder and harder, the risk of having a, a big impact that could affect possibly like your face is getting more real. So TLD wanted to, to introduce something that was going to be both lightweight and really protective, but really comfortable to wear in kind of a lot of trail situations. So as people are charging harder in this enduro kind of riding, kind of taking on the DH world a little bit, uh, they wanted to add this chin bar on. And one of the things that they wanted to do though was make sure that this was a really breathable, lightweight helmet so that you weren't just taking it off while you were climbing or having to remove chin bars for that. Uh, for that period and then find a place to stow it. So this comes in at 690 grams. Now to give scale, that is almost half the weight of this helmet here, uh, which is a beautiful, phenomenal helmet, but it's about half the weight and it's a little bit over, uh, it's right about double the weight of the A2 helmet here. So it is heavier than what you'd get in a kind of a light trail helmet, but it's providing a ton of protection and just has tons of safety rating uh, and crash test passes for this helmet. Now this is a reinforced chin bar and it actually is made up of EPP foam. What that means is that it can actually survive multiple impacts. So if you take a wreck and this part hits the ground, you are likely going to be able to keep riding this, he this helmet. It also helps uh, in slow speed impacts. The EPP is designed for those kind of impacts. And similar to what we saw on the A2, we have an EPP and EPS dual density uh, shell for this helmet. So slow speed and high speed uh, impacts are gonna be taken care of. Now again, similar to these, we also have the breakaway aluminum hardware for this visor and you have a huge amount of adjustment in this visor to really get it to where you want it, as well as making room for uh, some goggles uh, to store up there while you're climbing and then pop them back down as soon as you hit, hit the descents. Now, it's got a ton of venting in here. You can actually see all the vents and even on the chin bar itself, it has pretty huge openings here just to make it feel like you're not being encumbered by that chin bar. It really does have a light airy feel to it and surprisingly feels comfortable no matter whether you're heading up or down. Now if you're really focused on kind of the trail XC side definitely go towards this side uh, but if you're hard charging in the enduro market or just kind of pushing your boundaries uh, even on your normal trails this is definitely worth considering. Now, one of the things that I love about this is you get all kinds of extra pads inside the box so that you can really dial in the fit of the cheeks and the lower portion here. Again, an ecstatic an liner in here, remo uh, removable, machine washable, antimicrobial, and actually helps to fight against stink uh, coming after you sweat in it. And then one of my favorite features, and it's so small, but is the Fidlock um, uh, latch system here. And this is super easy to do on and off the bike, one-handed. Uh, you can kind of just set them in there, 
quick release, but it holds so well, super rad. Uh, so I'm a huge fan of the stage helmet and I love to see that this category of riding is growing and that we're having products to meet the needs of those riders. All right, last up is the Troy Lee Designs D3, and this is a proper DH rated helmet. Now, all these helmets pass a ton of safety tests, um, and this one looks pretty similar in that it's got a chin bar and it's kind of this full face style. But when it comes to safety, you cannot beat the safety ratings of a DH helmet like this. So while this one may do well in a park situation and give you some protection, this is going to take it to the next level. So if you are really hard charging out there, pushing your limits and getting you know, high speed downhill sections in your runs, definitely look towards the D3 here. Now, what's really cool about the D3 is just how light this is for how much helmet it is. And the way they do that is by using a carbon fiber in mold construction here, as well as pairing that with things like titanium bolts. And that may seem like a little note, but each gram counts when it's sitting on top of your head. So they've got this huge, beautiful helmet. It's got a ton of protection, but one of the things that uh, you struggle with when you have a helmet like this is uh, ventilation. So what Troy Lee and the team over there did is they actually put in 20 vents in the front and that channels the air across the top and around the back of your head and then dumps it out these six kind of spoiler uh, vents in the back. And so you actually get great cooling out of this thing, it keeps you really comfortable as you're bombing down those hills. We also have an adjustable visor that you can incorporate um, your helmet or your goggles up into the helmet when you're not charging down the hill. And then we have a D-ring strap down here. Again, just for security, it really locks that in. So when you put it in place, it's not gonna go anywhere. Inside the helmet, you'll find MIPS technology, just like we're seeing on all these helmets. And then you're going to have removable uh, cheek pads that are actually contoured to the shape of your face as well. And so this helps you to be comfortable out on the trail. And as you sweat, these are going to absorb that sweat, but keep it out of your eyes, out of your face. And then when you're done, you can pull them out, throw them in the wash, make them nice and clean and comfortable. Now this thing comes in at right around a thousand-ish uh, grams, uh, weighs in, in the world of full face, pretty light. So it's definitely a helmet to consider if you're looking to go bomb downhill trails uh, in your local area. Now if you have any questions about which one of these helmets is right for you, what size you need, or what color you're looking for, hit up our gear advisors, they're ready to help you out. As always, we have free shipping on orders over $50, so pretty much every helmet here would count, so we can get this to your door quickly, efficiently, and for free. So, thanks for watching today, and keep pedaling.